Um, I have something to tell you guys, and it's something I've been waiting a year to tell you. Get excited. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Life of Lame Butt. I'm a little sick, so sorry about my voice. It's just how it is. Okay. I have to tell you guys something. It's something that I've kept secret for a year. And it's maybe something that you won't really care about, but I really care about it and I want to tell you guys about it. So I'm going to. If you guys have been watching my videos, honestly, anytime in the past year, you probably know. I feel like I've talked a lot about how my life has changed in the past year. This is something that happened a year ago when I was a lot less happy. The reason I'm saying that is we need to transport ourselves to my last year mindset of being very dissatisfied with my life and also feeling like really out of control. Put that in your heads. Also like at this point I was still kind of in the process of transferring and I guess not to get like too personal but like when COVID stuff was going on and there was no vaccine and it was just like very I don't know I was really stressed about that. I had broken out into hives twice that semester and also like given myself an infection. Basically, I was just feeling really impulsive and frustrated and I needed some control, okay? I needed a sense of control. But before I tell you the story, I'm gonna show you a video. What's up guys, welcome back to Life in Lame Mud. Today we're uh, at a beautiful lighthouse tattoo and I'm gonna get my first tattoo, so get excited. Now that we're done with that, I do want to tell you guys the story um, before that. So we were sitting all of my friends in a corner booth and it was probably, I don't know, it was like 6 or 7 p.m. I think, um, but it was dark out and we're all just kind of miserable and bored and tired and whatever. Chase is like, I'm bored. We should do something. But we we're like, okay, Chase, if you think of something good to do, like, we'll do it. Let's do it. And he was like, well, let's go get tattoos. And we were like, okay, something we can actually do. Like, give us something we can do and we'll do it and he's like no let's go get tattoos and rachel was like lane there's that tattoo you've been wanting you could get that and i was like yeah that would be funny if i did that the pricing was kind of an issue and i was like i don't really want to pay a ton of money for this tattoo like especially right now and chase was like no we should go get tattoos we should go get tattoos tonight i'll get a tattoo like he's like looking up tat like he didn't even have one planned i don't think he's like rachel go get a tattoo with me Blaine, let's go get tattoos come on guys let's go get tattoos and finally i was like okay if you can find somewhere with this like this is my highest price if you find somewhere with this minimum okay i guess i'll do it oh this is such a fun story i actually really like it Him and rachel are calling like every tattoo shop within like two hours of us right and finally chase is like okay i found somewhere they have an apprentice who will do the minimum for half price we have to go now and i was like what oh guys my parents not super into tattoos okay it's my body i'm 19 years old i can do whatever i want i don't feel that different from when i'm 19 but honestly like me a year ago was so much angstier and i'm like kind of freaking out at this point i'm like am i really gonna do this am i really gonna do this doesn't matter does it even matter if i do this like doesn't matter it was like 45 minutes away and we got there and i took that video and then i got my tattoo i forgot my driver's license too so i had to call my roommate and be like hi can you send me a picture of this because i think i'm gonna get a tattoo then i'm like telling the guy what i want after i've signed all this paperwork we basically went because i have something that i want to get rachel ended up getting piercing chase had a tattoo but he was only like i'll do it if you do it i was like oh shoot if we can't do this i just made us drive out here for no reason it was fine i tell the tattoo artist the apprentice what i want and he's like no we can't do that and i was like i think you can <laughs> it's not that hard we had to modify it I'm gonna be honest, I like what I got more than what I wanted. It was pretty uneventful from there on out. It was pretty quick. I did bleed a lot and it was hard to like stay in position and not move. And then I did it and then it was cool. I've showed most of my like close friends by now, I think. I guess it's time for me to show you. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? You guys ready? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Here it is. So anyway, here's me getting it done. Here's me in process. Wow, so cool. Do you guys like it? <laughs> okay, if you couldn't read it, it says gluten and then it has a line through it. I will say some of my friends think it's really dumb. My family and Shelby had the best reactions, I think. Reese thought it was so, my sister Reese thought it was so cool. Shelby thought it was really cool. And she was really surprised because she didn't know I'd got it. And then my parents, I think they would prefer I go my whole life not getting a tattoo ever. Like I knew I wanted to make this video. So I knew I would have to tell them within a year. Um, and I put it off for a really long time. I don't know what we were talking about or who we were talking about, but 
it came up that they were like, we really want you to tell us things and like, we would much rather hear about things from your life, like, than you be afraid that we're going to judge you basically. I don't remember exactly how it went, but then I was just like, okay, I have to get it done. I have to get it done. Like, I, just I wanna get it over with. I was like, okay, well, in that case, I have to tell you guys something and I know you're gonna be mad at me and I don't know, I said a bunch of dumb stuff. And I was like, but I have a tattoo. And they were like, oh. They thought I, was, I really hyped it up a lot and I thought it was gonna be so much worse, I think. So they were really relieved when I said that after making it really dramatic. I was like, I don't think you're gonna like the location. So then my dad, like, I think he was thinking it was somewhere more scandalous, which makes sense. So he like looks away, right? And I show my mom and she's like, and then she like gave me a hug and she was like, that's so cool. And then I think my dad was maybe not paying full attention because he wouldn't let me show it to him for like 30 minutes after the conversation had passed. And then when I did show him, he was like, oh, it's in your mouth. And I was like, yeah. They both thought it was really cool and funny and like the best tattoo I could have gotten. Some of my friends clearly think it's stupid and I've showed them and they're like, Oh, like obviously I want people to like my tattoo and give me a good reaction when I show them. That's like the fun part of showing people. It's nice when it's obvious that people don't like it and I'm still like, like I feel like I should be disappointed and then I'm like, oh wait, I like it and it's my tattoo and I think it's awesome. So I don't care. Well, let's talk about the meaning of the tattoo now. The more I think about it and the more I'm like, this is something that I chose to hypothetically have on my body forever. Side note, the way my tattoo artist explained it to me was basically, this could go away in three days or it could bless the rest of your life. Anyways, obviously I have celiac disease. That's why I got it. I'm gluten-free and it is funny. I think the thing is like being gluten-free has taken away. I don't know. Like I was saying before, I felt like I wasn't really in control of my life. And I think celiac disease took away a lot of that for me. The not eating gluten part is like, okay, it kind of sucks, but like whatever, there's still good food in the world. The not getting to eat with my friends or not getting to go out to like whatever restaurant, not getting to try um, like different cultures, foods, whenever I want. Basically just the fact that if I'm doing anything, I always have to be thinking about celiac and about how to protect myself and how to not come into contact with gluten and <laughs> have it mess with me. But at the time it was like just exactly what I needed to like get my impulsivity out, do something that maybe other people didn't want me to do, specifically my parents, even though it turned out fine. That's all I have, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. I'm glad we don't have this secret between us anymore and that I can be honest with you guys. Comment down below. Do you like my tattoo? Be honest. Or tell me which one I should get next. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.